Hi, everybody. Hello, Evolution family, and happy St. Patrick's Day. Today is Wednesday, March 17, 2021. It's a little bit after 3 p.m. Pacific time. I'm Jose Lambert of Archer Travel Service. I want to welcome all the agents in Mexico, Australia, New Zealand, and the United States. Welcome to the Wednesday training. We're broadcasting live from the Archer Travel Media Center here in our Archer Travel Corporate Headquarters in beautiful La Crescenta, California. Right, Amanda? That is correct, Jose. That's right. And the weather has, has been a little bit chilly in the morning, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Extra it's chilly. Yeah, extra chilly. So we're not used to that kind of stuff. I want to welcome you to the Evolution Interactive Training Session today. Uh, these training sessions, they happen every Wednesday at 3 p.m. Pacific time. And they are for new Evolution team agents, uh, returning agents, sponsors, recruiters, consultants, etc. As part of Carnival Week today, what we're going to do is we're going to cover booking groups with Carnival Cruise Lines. Uh, tomorrow on De Destination Specialists, we are going to focus on Carnival Private Destinations. These are the private islands that Carnival has reserved for themselves that they own partially these, these properties that your clients can leave out of Baltimore or Miami or Port Canaveral on a three or four days. And we're gonna explore uh, specifically Half Moon K, uh, Grand Turk Island. Um, there were a couple of other ones in uh, Princess K. So we'll be showing all those tomorrow for you and that's gonna be a lot of fun. And then right after that, at the top of the hour at 4 p.m., the Archer Travel Report, we're gonna be showing you where the deals are for Carnival 2021 as we proceed through wave season. So there you are. So you're not gonna to wanna to miss any of that stuff. And today to help us is we have Miss Peggy here. Say hello, Peggy. Good afternoon, everyone. Get your notebooks out. I, am I frozen? Yes, Amanda? Yes, you are. Yeah. Yeah, you're frozen. Yeah, I'm frozen. Yeah. Oh, there we go. It's cold out there. That's why we froze us. It froze us and it was cold out there. We're back. All right, so we're back. Uh, Peggy, as you guys know, is your cruise coordinator, and she's also the group cruise coordinator, and she, she wears very many, a lot of hats here at, at uh, Archie Travel. But she will help you, and I'm really glad. And you guys know we've had Peggy on several times uh, already this year, but she's going to help us today as we're going to go through the how to book cruises, group cruises with Carnival. Now, um, but let's go to this very first slide because this is really important. Let's go to the, all right, here we go. Here's the information. See, da -da 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 -da. 2021, there is the information. Join us at the Sierra. This is going to be the National Convention, the Family Reunion. You're not going to want to miss this. This is going to be the event of the year. And we didn't have one last year. So I know all the evolution agents are just dying to come to Las Vegas and have some fun. And it's always good to, you know, interact with other you know, agents from different areas of the world, from the United States and stuff. So it's really going to be a lot of fun. And I'm really looking forward to it. There are the dates, July 15th through the 18th. There's all the information. It is in your Evolution Travel Cafe. And uh, on and it's also on your Evolution Travel Cafe on Facebook. Now. It's on all the social media. Oh, it's not all the social media. Instagram. So it's, it, there's the schedule of everything that what we're going to be doing. We're going to have a big trade show. And that's going to be a lot of fun. And and. You know, talk to people who went to the convention last time. They said the trade show was great. And this year's this year's going to be better. I think we have longer hours. Let's go to the next slide. Do, 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 do. Now, to help you, all right, to help you get your bookings and your reservations. Uh, and Amanda's going to explain some of this. Amanda, you want to show them how to do this? Oh, yeah, sure. Um, just go how to get your tickets. Go to Travel Cafe. Yeah, okay, sorry, I didn't know what you were asking me. Yeah, go to the Travel Cafe, and then you can see I put two buttons right in the middle of, of the, the page. Top. You can't miss it. You, as yeah. a matter of fact, we probably should enlarge it. And also, I put a tab for you on the left side right below home. Yeah, can you show them that? Um, okay. with, your, with, your, with your pointer there, your yeah, cursor? Yeah, yeah. So, National uh, Convention Family Reunion tickets now live. It's the second tab on the left. Yeah, you and see also, that? And also, if you click on the button 
right here where in the middle it says 2021 National Convention Family Reunion Tickets. That will take you right to the ticketing page. And if you click on the right, Hotel and Booking and Flights, it'll take you right to the hotel and booking flight information. There you go. All right, so you don't need to call us. All the information's in the Travel Cafe. So you upline sponsors, recruiters who've been in the company long enough. You know, okay, where do I need to go book these things? You go to the Travel Cafe. All the information's in there. Yep, okay, there, there you go. All right, let's go to the next slide. Booking groups with Carnival Cruise Line. The reason why we decided to do this and we spoke to Rhonda and Ron and when we had our meeting was you guys book a lot of Carnival Cruise, but you also book a lot of group Carnival Cruise. And that's those are really, really, really good commissions. And that's why I wanted to show you this. So now if there's new um, um, agents out there uh, that need some more information, this is going to be like an introductory course into how you book groups with Carnival Cruise. So we're going to go, but, but before you do go to your website, right, there's some procedures that we need to go through that you should know about. So let's go to the next slide. Steps to booking group cruises. We're going to go through these pretty quick. Pre-booking steps. How many passengers make a group? Eight or more. Eight or more cabins, double occupancy. Start early. You want to be at least one year out. Six months out, mm, one year out. Get committed passengers with deposit ready. Let's go to the next slide, please. Go ahead. Go ahead, Peggy. You want to do this one? I got lost here. <laughs> qualify. We're on qualify, qualify, qualify. Qualify, qualify, qualify. Make sure you know what type of cabins they want. Have they ever cruised before? What cruise line, what they liked or didn't like. Explain pre and post explain air and transfer portions, explain the excursions, and if there are any special needs, wheelchairs, oxygen, anything like that that needs to be provided or arranged for so that we can let the cruise line know when they want to go get some, a couple of different dates to work with in case group space is full and make sure that they all have passports that are going to be current and valid for at least six months from their return. Yeah. Okay. Um, wait, we're making an adjustment here. That's fine. Go ahead. Okay. Well, I want to go to the next slide. Oh, okay. <laughs> we can't go to the next slide. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Um, we're going to go to the next slide here in a minute. Um, oh, wait, wait. Let me talk about passports for a minute, you guys. Listen, that is really important. And passports are just, that is something that's got to happen right away. That's why I'm saying if you got a year out, and if you remember right, the passport office was closed during COVID for like three months. So they're still catching up. But I would highly recommend that you get on that right away. Okay. Qualify, qualify, qualify. What type of cabins do you want? Cabin types, interior, ocean, balcony, minute mini suite, whatever, et cetera. Let's go to the next one. one? Yep. Dining times are important. Yes. You know, find out when the time. Now, this is probably going to change when they come back. I, I, I don't, we're not very certain about this. There's been talk and rumor that they're going to expand these dining times. It might be earlier and it might be a little bit later, but you will get that information. Let's go to the next slide. Okay, steps to booking cruises. The cruise line, the dates, you really need this information. Don't just go, well, we're thinking about going in May. No, Mr. Client, we have to break this down. May 15th through the duck, 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 or whatever. Don't be like, because then you're going to be looking around for the entire month. And that's not, quit spinning your wheels. How many committed passengers? This must, you must know this. Cabin types, you need the breakdown. Contact the cruise line groups department, inquire about sale, deal, or offer. Make booking with full name of agent and evolution ID number. This is important. Right, Peggy? Yes, very important. Okay. If we don't have the agent ID number, I cannot get your information to you. That's right. That's right. Can't do it. Can't, wait, I can't move. All right, look. Email, all booking information, booking number, ship, sale date, and, co and, and of course, the agent's name and ID to groupcruises at archertravel.com. And I'm going to show you where you do that in the booking, okay? I'm going to show you where you do that. Remember individual bookings to all cruises at archertravel.com. Let's go to the next one. Do you want to take questions now or at the end? At the end. Okay. 
Let's go to the next one. Steps to booking the group cruises. Five, yeah, you guys all know this. The full price. Okay, let's go to, let me see where I'm at here. Okay, let's go to that. Attention, do the following contact Archer Travel. I'll tell you when we're going to do that. Okay, again, with the booking information, the Evolution Agent ID number and his name. Let's go to the next booking. And the reason you're going through this so fast, Jose, for everyone knowing, is you're going to show them on the website. That's right. That's right. Yeah, That's right. Perfect. And plus, we've covered this already. We've covered this already like last month. So uh, this is just reminding you guys of the steps that you need. Now, if you need more insight into these, you know, you can always email me and I will uh, email you the PowerPoint. Okay. Evolution agent, group leader. Evolution agent, you should assign a group leader for the group that will help you communicate. Collect all passenger information names. Evolution agent group leader collects monies and all that. Let's go to the next one. Okay. Uh, steps to cruising. This should be one more. Evolution agent, go to the website of Cruise Line and input all passenger information, deposit information, or call group Cruise Line department with passenger information. You can either call or you can go online. Let's go to the next one. Okay, here it is. The final payment due date should be 90 days before Cruise Line departure date. You should give them at least two weeks notice. If the cruise line is giving you May 15th as the final payment date, you tell the client May 1st, give yourself that two week window. And there's the final deposit stuff and everything. So this is the last one, right, Amanda? Oh, okay, other evolution. Oh, this is important. You wanna read this one, Peggy? Right. Extra space, you call me. Right. And we will find if there's no space available because you decided it was going to be Memorial Day weekend or whatever. Uh, that's that's just it. You're going to have to move the dates around. All right. Let's go to the next one. OK, now we're going to go to the website. OK. Right. Let me put this down. All right. Here you are. Go All right. And Amanda's going to help us here. Amanda, can you please go up to where it says booking? Oh, well. Okay, you, you, see, you see there now, uh, and the third one, I don't know if you can see it, it says create booking. It's the third one is group bookings. Now, you, you can do that, no, where it says create booking. There you go, you go click on that. Okay, so you click on that. Just waiting for it to load up. Okay, so here we go, all right? Now, I need to get up here a little bit. Now, you can go to the date, and let's just pick a date. Um, Amanda, do me a favor, pick uh, August, uh, 2020, 2022, and she can just go through that. And if you put your cursor on the, on the, uh, on the, on where it says the the month, it can actually move that that all around. So it gives you there, it should give you, um, it gives you 30 days out. Okay, is that right? Maximum date range is in nine days, but it should give you 30 days, as it you can see. Give you 30, yeah. yeah, it gives you 30 days. Okay, um, and let's see here, uh, group type. Okay, click on that. There's a little drop down note where it says group type, the arrow. There you go. Click on that. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. So there we go. It should infinity group holiday sailings or open promotion. All right, if you're doing a holiday sailing during the Memorial Days or the holidays, you would click that. Open promotion, forget about that. That's that's more for like corporate stuff, right? Right? Uh, right. Okay, like if right. they're, they're doing a special thing with IBM or something. Or something along that line. Right. You always want to put in Infinity Group. So put that in there, Amanda. Okay, and we're going to shop. No, we're going to leave that alone. Destination, what we're going to put down is Jamaica. Oh, no, Bahamas. Let's do Bahamas. Okay. And what we're going to do just for this, because this year, as you know, all the cruise lines have stopped. You can't go out on seven nighters. So we're only going to, you know, the cruise lines are going to have two to five night maximum. So I want you to click two to five night. Okay. And the departure port. Nope. Forget about the ship. The departure port is going to be Miami. Okay. And that should it. Uh, 
Scroll down. I think I hit search. It's required. The ship. Oh, okay. So it is. Okay. So there, it shows you two ships that are going. So hit uh, sunrise. All right. Hit search. All right. You want to do this one? All right. When you pull up the availability, it's going to give you every sales date for the month of August that is currently available. We have the conquest. No, we have the sunrise. It's the sunrise. And we only have two sale dates available, August 18th and the 15th. You're, you're focusing in only on the sunrise. Mm-hmm. Oh. Not required. You see, on hers it is. Well, yeah, I won't pick it. Okay, so she's changing it now. Oh, All right. you. Okay. So now we have the conquest. I'm going back. No, 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 no. You just stay. We changed it here. So we now have the conquest going to the Bahamas. Didn't require you to pick up. Okay. Okay. I'm back. Okay. All right. So we have the conquest mm -hmm. on the fifth of August. Mm -hmm. It's actually a three day mm -hmm. from Miami. We have the sunshine, which is a five. Oh, well, that's from Charleston. No, let's do Miami. We have the conquest on a four day cruise. On the 8th of August. Right. In the first column where it says ship, it will tell you the ship name. Right. Destination is in the second column. Sale date's in the third. The next column is duration. Five, four, however many days that cruise is. Also gives you the departure. If we go in and we just look at the conquest on the 5th of August, and move your cursor over. Currently, there's no group. That's right. There's no group bookings. Right. Um, the next column is the fun points and amenities. And they're they being offered. Yes, they're being offered. And then the next price is, here it is. That's the price the for. average rate. Right. And that would be for interior cabin single. So let's, okay. And do we have any specialty crews? No. All right. So let's select that one. Let's Click on select. Okay. Now, let me explain. Here, I'll explain this okay. page. Okay. All right. Now, all right. Let's talk about, here you have the rates and allotments. S select your stateroom and request below. All right. So we're going to go and we're going to pick some. What we're going to do here is we're going to pick out some inventory. All right. As you can see right below that, where it says rates and allotment, you have the group booking information. Where are at your tra travel? This is going to be an affinity group. We have uh, agency phone number logged in as Jill Archer. The group name we're going to put down is test. So can you put that in there, Amanda? Test. Now, below that, it says there are fun points. We have three modified fun points, but we're going to talk about that later on. Uh, to the right on the screen, you have the voyage information. It gives you everything there, Carnival Conquest, the date, three days, where we're going, round trip. We're going to Bahamas, M Miami, Florida. Okay. Now, let's scroll down. Okay, as you can see here, now this is inventory. This is your inventory, starting from the most expensive to the most, the balcony is the most expensive. As we go down, you see those are the interior cabins. All right? All right, I hope you guys got that. Now, let's go through this top bar menu, all right? State room request based on double occupancy. You must have double occupancy. Rates include non-commissionable fares, all right? Rates include non-commissionable fares. Is that from um, the taxes? Is that what that is, uh, Peggy? Taxes are going to be additional. Right. Okay. So now what we're going to do here is, okay, as you can see, as we go across, all right, scroll, scroll back up. I want to go here. Category type, max, max requests allowed. How many requests can you make on this group is only four. Do you see that for that kind of balcony category? All right. Double rate average. Commission, as you can see, all this is commissionable at 16%. Double state, double stateroom requests. We're not, we'll, we'll put that in in a minute. 
triple rate, quad rate. Now, those, as you know, they're really, really hard to book. And there's only, you can only book so many of those in a group. Isn't that right, Peggy? If they allow you. If they allow you. It all depends on what's happening. And normally it's a request only. Right. Because in order to do a triple or a quad, you basically make the full deposit based on the number of passengers. Right. So that you can, in fact, burnt the cabin at the same time. Right. All right. So let's just quickly go through this. So you go to payment um, and, okay, payment date. Okay. So look, it says payment date and deposit amount. All right. That's what you need as of May 17th for the first deposit amount. That's per person. All right. So $50 holds a cabin. Then, all right. So let's put, let's pick some inventory. Uh, Amanda, give me uh, in uh, where it says 8D balcony. Give me four balconies. Where it says 8D balcony. Accidentally clicked on it. 8D? Yeah, 8D. Give me four. Okay. Okay, and scroll down. And then you have four uh, interiors. I don't care. 4E. Give me four of those. Okay, all right. Now, and let's pick select. Scroll down and hit uh, save and continue. Now, you can add as many as you want here. Okay, but it'll tell you on the side what's available in that group, that category, what you can book, book on the group. Okay, all right. So here you have that. Um, you want to handle? You want to take it from here, Peggy? Okay. If you clicked on save, the next page is going to come up, and it's going to tell you you have four category four D balcony cabins currently in the allotment, and you have. Four category four E's in the allotment, which gives you a total of eight cabins. Okay. And that's the totals right there. Now, before before we go to the time the terms and conditions, uh Peggy, let's talk to them about points. I want you to take the cursor and right below where it says Jill Archer, I want you to click on where it says, yeah, click on that. Click on where fun points can be changed. These are amenity points. These are things that you can get. Um, is it cut? Is it happening? No. Okay. Click no, on. click on three. You can't click on it at this point. You have to oh, you have to go earlier. back into it. That was the earlier thing. Yeah, I forgot that one. Okay. Well, those are the amenity points and um, you can assign amenities to, you know, champagne, flowers, a uh, uh, on shipboard credit. Um, but now that's going to alter the price of the group and the categories. So the more points that you add, the more expensive the cabins will be. So be careful there. Be careful there. All right. So let's hit con uh, confirm and book. Yeah, you're going to have to before it'll let you confirm booking. Oh, hit. Uh, right yes. Under your, right yeah. under your categories, there is a box mm -hmm. that you have to All right, so here we have, there are zero amenity points selected for the group with three remaining that must be assigned by May 23rd. Okay, we can assign those later. But now this is all, now it's gone. Now, let me see here. Okay, let's go to the stateroom requests. Okay, if you see that right below where it says, yeah, click on there. That's what that's, what that's showing right there. Let's go to guidelines. Okay, there's the payment guidelines. Okay, telling you, okay, so look. The first deposit is due on May 17th. The full deposit is due on April 7th of 2022. The full payment is due on May 23rd of 2022. We have the cancellation. Uh, that's the payment guidelines. Let's go to get cancellation guidelines, please. Okay, here you go. May 23rd, uh, it's $100 per person. These are the penalties. By June 12th, it's 50% of the person's uh budget on there and then july 8th 75 and then by july 23rd if you cancel that's full penalty that means your clients get nothing okay then the co complimentary policy the following uh based on average cruise rate birth okay refer to your group detail works okay now after you've sent all this and you've said okay now this goes to peggy 
okay? And this is the time that you should be calling Peggy or Peggy will contact you because we've gotten this. Correct. All right? All, all of the group contracts will come over to Carnival Cruises at archertravel.com, which I actually receive as they come over, whether it's late at night, early in the morning. I then forward to each individual agent. This is why it is important for me to have the agent's ID number and either first or last name. Or if you don't put your ID number, I need your full name so that I can make sure I can get that information to you so that you've got the actual contract so that you can go through it, make sure that you understand it. And if not, that's when you con contact me because I will walk you through the contract. Right. Now, another thing, you guys, this is the way Carnival does it. Royal Caribbean does it a totally different way. <laughs> Norwegian does it a totally different way, you know? So they all, it's kind of like varied. I mean, it's kind of similar, but it's also kind of different. So you just got to hang in there and, and we'll walk you through it together. You know, but like I said, use Peggy as a resource because she, she knows all the answers in regards to group bookings with Carnival. All right. Um, I think that's pretty much we covered it, right, Peggy? I think that's pretty much all the highlights. Okay. okay. Uh, we'll do questions now, Amanda. Well, I just want to let them know just really fast that all these training sessions are recorded and they, this week is Carnival Week, so it will be uploaded to the Carnival Week playlist on YouTube, which I have put in chat. So feel free to check that out. You can find all our trainings from Carnival Week there. Okay, so one of our questions we had is, do we have a cruise client profile sheet checklist that goes over these questions? Hmm. No, not really. No, not really. But I'm afraid of doing that because we did have a, a travel agent checklist in the Travel Cafe and you guys started uh, downloading that and handing that to your clients. Um, what you need to do is practice this. You know, you do have team leaders, you know, saying, hey, I, I'm, I'm going to qualify my first group. Can, can you hear my questions out? Let me see if I'm at, in, at, you know, work with your teams. And if not, you know, I'll do a workshop with you. I'll call you or you can call me and we can work on that together. But we're afraid to put any documents out like that because then you guys take it and you sit there and you go through the checklist going, okay, number five, what port do you want to depart out of? Okay, how many people are going? I mean, you know, so that's why we, the more you do this, the more you will get better at it. Yes, ma'am. I do want to comment on that. Like, when they, not everyone's doing that. We know that. Right. Um, but it sort of sucks because the people who do do it mess it up for the people who aren't. So we haven't decided to put one up yet. That is something that we could definitely talk over yeah. in the office. But there is, we were going to put one on the Travel Cafe. We decided not to, but you can always ask Jose for his power. Yeah, or, or, or Peggy or, or, you know, there yeah, right. you can find the answers, you know. And if your uplines, you know, don't have that, you know, give us a call. We will help you. We, we would rather, you know, work with you and then point you in the right direction that you feel that more confident when you're going to go approach the group than putting something on, you know, in the travel cafe that you have to read and, and you may not understand. All right. Next question. Okay. I'm just going to close that. Oh, That's there's the contact. Contact him, info. <laughs> Let's see to your, to your right side. All right. All right. All right, all right. My contact. There it is. If you, how to book group cruise wave season. But here's uh, Peggy's email. There's our numbers if you need to contact us. Any other questions? Yeah. Um, are passports now required or are they still allowed to use birth certificates oh. and identification? Or okay. I'm, 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 stop, 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 stop right there. Stop. This question, we get a lot, right, Peggy? Yes, we do. And, and, and this changes yearly. <laughs> this changes yearly. One year, Carnival will say, yeah, get Baja. You know, yeah, you can do a passport. We were just talking about this the other day, passport card. Yeah. And and uh, listen, if your clients are going to go, because I'm going to tell you what they're going to need. They're going to need the original birth certificate. And I mean, and that's the one that's got the stamp on it with everything, with the intentions on it. And anybody who's carrying around their, their original birth certificate and shatters, going to take this down to the, you know, the, 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 the cruise terminal, you know, so they can go into Ensenada. That's ridiculous. Have your client get a passport. Have your client get a passport. Tell them, say, look, this is just one of the journeys I can book for you. What if you want to go to Europe next year? 
and it's good for 10 years. So, yeah. you know, the next cruise that you're going to go on, you're going to need it and you're going to love it so much. All right. What's the next question? Okay. Next question is when working with the complimentary policy, is the comp birth within the eight rooms or does it make it nine? Oh, okay. That, that's a whole nother thing. And we talked about that yesterday. Remember, Peggy, we talked that's, about. That's the TC credit. Right, right. Uh, the tour conductor credit. And that's a whole the other. Credit. That's a whole other issue. Now, if you're going to go down that route, that's a more of an, an advanced booking. You know, if you're new and you're this is your first group booking, I wouldn't recommend that you do it. Get at least two to three bookings underneath your belt first. And, you know, you got everything and you got your commission. You just kind of have an idea of where it's going. Ask Peggy if you have any questions. But if you're going to be doing this, I would not recommend it doing it first, the first group out. You know, at least get two to three bookings under your belt. This is something, it's an, more advanced. We should do a training on it, but it's really kind of complicated. And uh, what it is, is if you book like eight, eight rooms, you get one free of uh, eight cabins, you get one free that you can resell or it goes back to you and your commission. There's a lot of different ways to work it, but you got to know how to work it. Well, Go ahead. If you have, if you have eight cabins and you have a total of 16 passengers, you will earn one free berth. Right. Beds in a cabin are called berths. Right. For an, the birth itself, which will vary depending upon whether or not you have balconies right. or you have ocean view, whatever the category is. Right. That can either then be, and I wouldn't do it, I mean, you can, you can offer it to your group leader who has beat the bushes for you trying to get Yeah, passengers. like they don't have to pay, you know, like they get that, yeah. Or For you, mm -hmm. you just send in the tour conductor's commission tracking form right. that comes in separate from the cruise lines. It can be used in a number of different ways, but yeah. until you've really started getting into the groups, you might not want to get too carried away with that at the at this right. Time. Right. I, I'm yeah. serious about this. You know, um, you know. Yeah. I, I, I wouldn't be doing this like right away out of the thing, but you know, as we move on, we'll, we'll get more training in that. Um, and we've never really touched on that because it's really advanced. I mean, you need some like four or five year, you know, years of experience in the business to really know how to handle that. Cause it can get very complicated and you get very, very messy. Next question. Yeah. Um, next question is, can you tell us what the buttons are at the bottom of the page? Um, what are they showing? What buttons? These ones. Are those? Those will be the history uh, you'll put. Uh, okay. That'll be your birthing when you're going to birth your cabins on your birth guests, the guest list, your modify the booking, making payments, search group bookings. Those are just tools to help you uh, complete this. Okay. Because like I said, we just showed you the introductory level that we got you to the point where you filled out the booking and now it goes to Peggy. Boom. Now Peggy's going to call you and she's going to walk you through the rest of this. Okay. Like making the payments how to do that. And, she, and you can, you know, look at all that. But like I said, um, you know, searching your group booking, these are all to assist you. But like I said, we showed you up to this, to the point where now Carnival shoots that information to Peggy and then Peggy calls you or you call Peggy. Okay. Next question. Correct. Hello. Uh, next question. Um, how long are groups not able to be booked with carnival what do you mean by that how long are you talking about two three years or out or what not able not um, a how long not able how long are groups not able to be booked with carnival i'm, I'm lost i need more clarity there yeah Vicky, can, can, you, the can you tell us more in your question like a little more detail to help us out with that we'll get it answered if we don't yeah. Answer it now. Then you can always send us an email. There's the email addresses. We'll answer it after we play our short video in a little bit. Oh, no, we're running out of time. Um, also, so I was trying to do the interline rate for a travel agent, and it was coming out more than if someone would call 
a carnival staff member. Will you guys be covering that at all? What what was the what was the first part of that question? I was trying to do an interline rate for travel agent and it was coming out more than if someone would call a carnival staff member. That's very possible because there's all kinds of specials out there. Right. Interline rates are not always the least expensive. Ooh. When you're trying to do that and you run into an issue or something like that, call us. Don't go to Facebook. Don't go to these rooms and ask, oh, and you know, but, you know, just give us a call. We will give you the correct answer. If I don't know it, Peggy will know it. And if Peggy doesn't know it, we'll get back to you with the correct information. We'd rather you have do that than go on Facebook and it's 3 a.m. in the morning going, I need help going down to the Bahamas. I don't know, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, thank God we got people that monitor those pages that really, you know, keep you guys in check. But give us a call, you know. Um, the, the person who wrote that question about the interline, email me because I, I want to know exactly what you want. Is you want a travel agent okay, rate or what? Annie. What? It was Annie. Oh, Annie. Okay. okay. Well, yeah, all right. well, she can email me. All right. Yeah. Well, what's the next question? Anything? Um, I don't think there's any more questions, but I do want to go off what Jose just said. The contact information is on the screen. And like Jose said, call us if you need help. But do know that we are not open 24-7. Yes. We work Monday through Friday and we're 9 to 5. So Pacific time. Pacific time. Just to let you know, we are yeah. here for you. But we're not going to answer a 3 a.m. call. No, I, I do. I go 4.30 and we go, hello? hello? What? <laughs> what? I, I, what? Uh, no, I'm not working yet. Call me. Call me in four hours. <laughs> you know, yeah. that kind of stuff. All right. All right, everybody. Well, we've gone over our time. Um, we hope you got something out of this. Now, now look, don't forget, tomorrow we're going to show you some great destinations in um, the Carnival Private Destinations. That's going to be a lot of fun. we got some great video for that, and Susie's going to be here for that. And then at 4 p.m., I'm going to show you where the deals are, all right, where the deals are for the rest of the uh, wave season. So you're not going to want to miss that. All right. If you have any questions, if you want this PowerPoint, just go ahead and email me, email me and I will send it to you. Thank you, Miss Peggy, so much. I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to join us. I really do because you're very, very busy. You are so welcome. It's always a pleasure to be as helpful to the agents as possible. We want them to succeed. Thank you so much. All right. All right, everybody. See you later. Bye.